This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football. So are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Let's go, baby. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They're going to need some therapy after this. Now a give, right side. It's Carson. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. On third down, Wilson. That's complete to D.K. Metcalf. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Ten yards and a Seattle first down. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Now Wilson. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. They'll run on first down. Carson trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Throwing on second down, Wilson. And a diving grab. I think he got that, yes. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 23. Every coach we ever talk to says to his team before the game, quick start, guys. Let's get out of the gate fast. <laughs> How about that? They took his lesson to heart, didn't they? They did exactly that. A nice diving catch here on the game's opening drive. Wilson on target there to Moore. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now it's Carson. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. Throwing is Wilson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. 
Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Myers' kick is good. And the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. I would say confidence would have to be pretty high after that first drive, able to throw it almost at will. You're exactly right. They didn't get the touchdown, but three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 23. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. A gain of six there on first. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. Here's Mahomes to throw. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second down six. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, and it's complete. It's Damian Williams. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 43. Now here's Mahomes. This is caught by Williams. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Mahomes now on first down. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill there to make the grab. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. And got his man complete. He got 29 yards that time. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly. It's a foot race. Pass the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Chris Carson, 47 yards. And the Seahawks are going to retake the lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. 
the concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. Now Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 33 yards that time. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown from four yards out. And the Chiefs are once again going to retake the lead. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. This will be taken in at the one. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives, so a very good flow right now offensively. Hard to slow them down, too, because they are locked in. Feel like the offense coordinator is a little bit ahead of the defensive guys right now. They're beating them to the punch with their play calls. They've got a nice rhythm they're locked into. How can the defensive guys come up with something that'll disrupt that flow? That's what they're seeking right now. Well, it's been an exciting sequence to watch. From the 22, Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he is going to lose yardage here. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job, hey, but, you know, writing down your ad -libs. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Gaughan. From just shy of midfield, Mahomes. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. 
Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He's got his man, it's Williams. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. From 13 yards out. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide that they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Fielded about a yard deep. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lift your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Pick me up. Here we go. And here's Wilson to throw again. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. And this is incomplete. Daniel Sorensen there on the coverage. So shall we say a bold decision to go for it, and that bold decision does not pay off. And when you talk about bold, you're saying all caps? All caps. Yeah, without a doubt. Maybe they're telling their defense they have a lot of faith in them. I mean, that's how you have to... And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. It's a very short kick. Take it right at the 20. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get in the field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you've called multiple plays because you're going to say, this is how we're going to run them in order, guys. You don't have time for audibles. You don't have time to change anything. You're trying to get the ball in position to at least get three. They've got a great shot to do it right here. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. To throw is Wilson. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. I'm coming after you. From the shotgun, Wilson. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter.
So no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Here we go on fourth with Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Yellow. Final shot before the half from Mahomes. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spend the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change-ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage call it no gain that time as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go Mahomes now to throw Got a man, it's complete, Williams. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Yellow, yellow. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. From midfield now on second down. Mahomes over the middle. He's got Watkins. That catch good for five. It's third down. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And this is caught by Watkins. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. A gain of three, second down. On second and seven, Mahomes. He'll take a shot for the end zone. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And it's a short kick. Take it right around the 19. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here and have to. Try and get things kick-started. And now nothing but green ahead of him. 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Chris Carson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks are able to close the gap just a bit. Now Myers for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to 18. And at the 
for the touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Again, it's Williams. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here we go, fourth down, Mahomes. And this is caught. That's Watkins. There he goes, right side. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Sammy Watkins, 65 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. It's a very short kick, taken right at the 20. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Wilson, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller, and this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where's he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes, and when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now a tenth carry. Here's Williams, and he'll go down at the 28. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. They go play action here on first down. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 23 yards on the play. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. They'll run it with Williams. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. No movement from the field goal unit. They've got four full yards to go here on fourth and goal to hit Pater, but they're going to go for it. 
That is caught by Williams. Touchdown, Kansas City. Four yards on the touchdown grab as his guys continue to pour it on. There's no doubt in my mind. And do you hear that? Do you hear the... It, it's not scales, right? I don't hear scales. Do I actually hear a tune That's, being warbled? I think the fat lady's humming. Yeah, she's doing more than humming. She's, she's belting it out she's right going. now. She's going. She's full bore. Yeah, this thing is flat out finished. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is taken near the 13. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and two. And the Seahawks on third down. Just one for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Now a toss play. It's Carson. Now Carson fumbles the football. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. A big seam and he might go all the way. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Nick Ballore, 64 yards. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that will cut this lead down to 25. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, broadcaster? No, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won every game as a player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. And no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that... You know, team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before now was dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? As the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and how it all happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question. What game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles the Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from their first one and blew out the Seahawks. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. And now he's closing in on 450 yards passing. That's an incredible number. I mean, you're talking about the best defenders in the world that you're trying to throw the ball against, and you're creating that type of a number. Fantastic job, fantastic performance. And he's going to have to ice up his arm afterwards, too. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Looking to throw on second down. Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. 
And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Escaping the pressure right. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's and he loses the football a second time. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Insane. Down down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And let's pin the mirrors back and go forward. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Mahomes. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. Third down here. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down and around the 22. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Mahomes throwing on fourth. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com.